March 3rd meeting of the Thousand Oaks Youth Commission is called to order at 6.30 p.m. We'll now have the Pledge of Allegiance with Commissioner Stein. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. We will now have roll call with staff coordinator Francine Spriegel. Commissioner DeMint? Here. Commissioner Hatlin? Here. Commissioner Hong? Here. Commissioner Colehope? Here. Commissioner McMinn is absent. Commissioner Ramirez Davis? Here. Commissioner Rose? Here. Commissioner Sadwick? Here. Commissioner Sote? Here. Commissioner Sclavanites? Here. Commissioner Stein? Here. Commissioner Van Buren is absent. Commissioner Young is absent. Commissioner Martinez? Here. And Commissioner Petrus is absent. Thank you. We'll now have public comments with Commissioner Colehap. This is the portion of our meeting we, where we invite the public to come and speak about, bring any concerns they have for the Youth Commission before us. Is there any public comments at this time? There being none, let's move on. Thank you. Our scheduled guest speaker, Pedro Chavez of United Way Ventura County, was unfortunately unable to make it tonight, but he will be joining us for the April 7th televised meeting. We'll now be moving on to school liaison reports with Co Vice Chair Hatland. Thank you. Uh, this is the portion of our meeting where we invite a representative from the Thousand Oaks Teen Center to come and give a report um, each month to say what's going on at the Teen Center. And so for that report, I'd like to turn it over to Commissioner Sklavanitis. Tonight we have Ezra Levy from the Thousand Oaks Teen Center Advisory Committee presenting the report for the Teen Center. Hello, my name is Ezra Levy. I'm here with the Thousand Oaks Teen Center. Um, we have the following activities that took place um, in the Teen Center this past month. Saturday, September, uh, February 6th, we had 7th and 8th grade Valentine's Day dance. Over 600 teens attended, and the features included Golden Spoon. Um, Friday, February 12th, 50 teens registered and filled our second Mountain High snowboard trip. On Saturday, February 13th, we hosted a high school concert with four local teen bands. Over 300 teens attended, and the lineup was The Bogarts, Dan and Drum, Little Antarctica, and The Violet Hour. It was a really good show. Um, <clears throat> Wednesday, February 19th, the Teen Center hosted a 6th grade soccer tournament. This program is in cooperation with uh, CVUSD and serves as an introduction to the Teen Center programs. On February 19th, um, the Teen Center and Youth Outreach hosted a Century High School barbecue and sports day. 35 teens were in attendance. On, on Saturday, February 27th, we held a parent teen pool tournament with um, barbecue and 24 players, which is 12 teams, competed. Um, it was a really good tournament. Um, as for upcoming events, we are taking the spring program registration right now, so go to thousandnoteteencenter.com um, to sign up. Programs include Be Safe Drivers Education, SAT Workshops, American Red Cross Workshops, all of our classes in sports, the Arts, Dance, Computer, and Spring Break Excursions. This website also features videos and photos of past events, so go check it out. Saturday, Wednesday, March 10th, we, have, we host a four-tournament date girls soccer program for the public middle schools. The tournament runs for one month. On February, March 13th, we'll have 7th and 8th grade uh, St. Patrick's Day dance. Um, this is always well attended, so mark your calendars. On Saturday, March 20th, uh, is the Rock for Change High School concert. Some of the proceeds will go to Amnesty International and the Invisible Children's Organization. Uh, the lineup is On the Draw, When Daylight Dies, Blackout 101, and The Bogarts. It's another great show featuring local artists. Uh, next is the Middle School Talent Show. This annual event is scheduled for Friday, March 26th, and admission is $2. Categories include vocals, instrumentals, and dance. Thank you. Are there any questions? There be none. I would like to turn the mic back over to Commissioner Hatland. Every meeting, the commission invites high school ASB and ASG, as well as middle school ASB and ASG, uh, to come to our meetings and present uh, what is going on at their schools. So for that part of our meeting, I'd like to turn it over to Commissioner Rose. 
All right, our first school is with Ulysses, Ulysses Scra Sclavanitis, sorry, <laughs> tongue-tied a little bit, um, from Kalina Middle School. Hello, my name is Ulysses Sclavanitis, and I'm here from Kalina Middle School. We just saw our jog -son and um, raised over $25,000 for our school, and cool prizes were given to students who participated. Next Friday, report cards are given out to the to people at home. The fourth is our fashion. Uh, the fashion show. Every, the fourth is our fashion show. Everyone is going to have a gaga over it. Fifteenth through nineteenth is our outdoor week for sixth graders. The seventeenth is Cody Green Day. The twenty-sixth is Backwards Day, and the thirtieth is Rabbit Run Relay. The twelfth is Kalina's movie night from seven to nine. Gra congratulations to the for to our school for collecting over four thousand five hundred pounds of. Uh, Food from Mana, and to the We the People team for winning the silver medal, and to the students from Band, Math, Reflections, and Spelling Bee from from for going to the national competition. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Next, can Alyssa and Emily from Sycamore Canyon go up to the podium? Good evening, everyone. I'm Emily Sweetman, president of Sycamore Canyon Middle School. And I'm Alyssa Leone, vice president of Sycamore Canyon Middle School. We will be hosting our Night in Paris talent show on March 26th. The auditions are going to be held March 8th through 11th. We are continuing to have lunchtime activities every Friday to promote student involvement in school activities. For example, last week's Syrup Lips Marshmallow Dips was a huge success. We also have music at lunch every Wednesday and Friday. We recently concluded our Sycamore Middle School and Elementary School readathons. Congratulations to Ms. Magnanti's fifth period class who will get uh, to throw water balloons at our principal, Dr. Sand, and our vice principal, Mr. Wing. We read a school total of 899,498 minutes. That's 15,000 hours. Report cards will be distributed for trimester two this Friday. Our ASB advisors will be attending a cattle conference in Reno, Nevada. Our Math Counts team recently placed second and is going to state to represent Sycamore at state level on March 20th. Good job, guys. Our three Odyssey of the Minds teams, one is going to state this on March 20th. After practicing twice weekly at lunchtime, the Sycamore Canyon Thinking Cap team participated in the Thinking Cap competition on February 16th. There will be more opportunities to participate in Thinking Cap for the 7th and 8th grade GATE students starting March 25th with the competition on April 13th. And congratulations to our boys volleyball team who are first place champions. That's all, thank you. Thank you very much. Next we will have Will and Rachel from Los Cerritos Middle School. Congratulations to Mrs. K's sixth period class finishing fourth in We the People Regionals. The PSST and FLIP classes recently went to the Museum of Tolerance where we learned about heroic individuals and tragic events during the 1900s. Sixth grade Greek Olympics is on the 9th. Uh, social studies classes will participate in many academic and fun group activities that relate to the ancient Olympics. Sixth grade outdoor school is on the 22nd through the 26th. More information will be provided in your science class. The school science fair starts on March the 31st. AS ASB is doing the crop walk this weekend. Come out and support your peers as they walk. Each participant is collecting donations. We are having a St. Patrick's Cody event next uh, on Wednesday, um, March 17th. Wear green to earn points for your class and show your school spirit. And finally, don't forget Golden Spoon Tuesdays. We raise money for our school. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next, we will have Jacqueline from Newbury Park High School. Hi, I'm Jacqueline. Um, on March 4th, uh, we're having a paint a bowl event to help benefit the Bulls for Hope by the Many Mansions organization. On March 12th, we're having the school talent show um, at 7 o'clock. And this month, cheer tryouts began, so we're having a mandatory parent meeting on the 11th, and all the applications are due on the 26th. Um, we've been having ongoing AP exam registration, and so the deadline to register is March 5th. 
prom tickets have now been available online, but um, April 12th through the 23rd, they're available for purchase at the student store. On the 22nd, the ASG and class officer applications will be available, and on the 26th, they'll be due. On April 1st, we're having our spring rally, and on the 20th, we're having a spring fling dance, and what's going to happen is they're merging Westlake High School, Thousand Oaks High School, Newberry Park, all at one dance, and it'll be at Westlake. Thank you. Thank you very much. Lastly, we will have Hannah from Westlake High School. Congratulations to our Warrior Wrestling Team. Shane Laguna was the Marmani League Champion at 160 pounds, and Jake Snyder was the Marmani League Champion at 152 pounds. Jake was also selected as the Marmani League Most Outstanding Varsity Wrestler. Great job, guys. Congratulations to English and Journalism teacher Karen Battaglia and Physics teacher Scott Holloway. Mrs. Battaglia was awarded Caneo Valley Unified School District Teacher of the Month, and Mr. Holloway was awarded Teacher of the Year for California. We appreciate their hard work and dedication to their students. Spring dance tickets are now on sale online and in the student store. They cost $10 with an ASB sticker and $12 without. Our theme is neon, and T.O. and Newberry will also be attending, so be sure to buy tickets. On Monday, March 8th, there is a junior class fundraiser at CASA from 5 to 9. On Tuesday, March 9th, there is a WOW counselor interest meeting at lunch in the mezzanine. This is a great way for upperclassmen to get involved and welcome future freshmen to our school. Future Warrior Night is on Wednesday, March 10th at 5 p.m. in the gym. This is an opportunity for incoming freshmen and their parents to learn about activities, clubs, sports, and academic programs at Westlake High School. ASB board elections are the week of March 15th to the 19th. Vote at lunch by the office. Your opinion counts. The freshman class is having a fundraiser at BJ's on March 16th. Westlake will be hosting a leadership development day on March 26th in conjunction with Cata Castle, and 300 middle school students will be attending from Los Cerritos, Redwood, Sequoia, Sycamore Canyon, and Anacapa in Ventura. We are very excited. There is a class officer interest meeting on Monday, March 22nd at lunch in 31L. Class officer elections are the week of March 29th to April 1st. Thank you, Hannah, and thank you to all those who came out to do your presentations this evening. Uh, like Josh said, we'd like to thank everybody who came out to speak for their school. We always encourage all ASBs and ASGs to come out and uh, give a report for your school. We'd love to have you. I'd like to now turn our meeting back to Chair Sadwick. Thank you very much. The next part of our agenda is the project activities and reports. The Youth Commission undertakes a number of projects throughout the year. I will introduce the following commissioners who will be overseeing the projects and they will give any updates and summaries. The first project is Youth Summit with Commissioners Hong and Rose. First, I would like to thank the 105 attendees and leaders who participated in the Youth Summit on February 20th. It was an amazing event with positive feedback and new ideas for the city. We would like to also thank the keynote, Zach Centerland, for taking the time to come and talk to us. And now I'd like to turn it to Josh Rose. All right, and I just wanted to add that if you have not filled out your survey, it is not too late to do so. Um, please visit www.toaks.org forward slash youth, and don't forget the .org, it is not .com, um, and click on the link. Remember that you cannot get your certificate signed by the... Sorry? Oh, yes, and this is for attendees only of the Youth Summit. Um, you cannot get your certificate signed by the mayor unless you fill out your survey. Um, and I would also like to thank all those people that did fill out their survey, as your comments have helped us start to plan for the next possible Youth Summit. Um, thank you to all the attendees and all the leaders once again for participating in the 2010 Youth Leadership Summit. I'd like to make a comment following up that. Um, I would like to give a big thanks to Hannah and Josh for all their hard work putting together a fabulous and successful Youth Summit. Thank you so much. Well done. Of course, we also could not have done that without our staff coordinator, Francine Spriegel, so we'd like to thank her as well. And 
Commissioner Martinez. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I just step on your toes, Commissioner Rose? No, you're okay. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to Rock the Oaks with Commissioner Sclavanides. We are proud to say that the Bogarts, Left on Bromley, Right of Light, and Soft Silence are the local bands that will rock the Rock the Oaks concert at the Civic Arts Plaza on April 23rd. Don't miss the opportunity to see local bands perform and have a chance to win door prizes when you see all four. First are the Bogarts. This is not the correct order of the bands, by the way. The Bogarts are a punk rock trio from Thousand Oaks, California. The band consists of guitarist and vocalist Alex Johnson, bassist and vocalist Nick Waite, and drummer Moritz Kaltenbrunner. The band has, made, has played many venues like Rock City Studios, Epic Ventura, The Roxy, and the Thousand Oaks Teen Center. Up next, we have Left on Bromley. They have an extremely diverse sound that mixes the blues and hard rock styles of Led Zeppelin, Aerosmith, and Guns N' Roses with a contemporary twist. Andrew Cohen, Preston Walker, Shay Seguin, and Kevin Kobbenfeld have played at the Canyon Club, Agura Cage, Rock City Studios, and the Cobalt Cafe. Right of Light is an exciting and emerging talent with an extraordinary stage presence and audience-energizing showmanship. Austin Herzig on drums, Kevin Karp guitar, Leanne Z. Frey lead vocalist, and Kevin Pugh bass, and Christoph Allard rhythm guitar have created a musical force with a distinct sound appealing to a wide audience, pop, rock, and alternative. Lastly, Soft Silence aims to create a passionate, vigorous rock and roll music and dreamy piano ballads. Soft Silence has opened for Huba Stank and frontman of Stone Temple pilot Scott Whelan. Band members Brian Dixon on singer and songwriter, Nathan Schoenberg, guitar, Brad King, drummer, Cody Bentley on bass, an audience captivated by pure raw energy, and most important of all, great songs. The Thousand Oaks Youth Commission is proud to um, present the Rock of Oaks concert on April 23rd, and tickets are available for $15 at the box office at 2100 Thousand Oaks Boulevard. Thank you. I'd like to make one comment about that. Sorry. Um, if you missed any of those bios or would like more information about those bios, check out our Facebook as we will be posting them on Facebook as well as their MySpaces so you can listen to some of their songs before you go see them in concert. You can also become a fan of the Youth Commission online and you can get all those updates and notifications automatically just to make it easier on you. We'll now be moving on. Um, yes, Vice Chair Hotland. Also, we would like to uh, thank the City and the Civic Arts Plaza Foundation for awarding us two very big grants. Uh, we would not be able to put on the show without you. Thank you very much for your support. And Alliance for the Arts. I'm terribly sorry. Absolutely. Thank okay, we will now be moving on to the Teen Video Festival with Commissioner Martinez. Thank you so much. Again, I would like to announce the... 11th Annual 2010 Canadian Teen Video Festival is well underway. Just a reminder that the deadline for all entries is May 28th. The premieres screenings will be held on June 24th and 25th at the Four Friends Gallery, with the award show being held on June 30th, 6 p.m. at the Shear Forum Theater. Now, entry categories are for the following, documentary, fiction, and music video. And by the way, um, I had a few calls about animation. We will be we will be giving out awards for animation as well this year. Now, for those who have questions about copyright information regarding music specifically, they can call me um, at uh, my number, which is three eight one two seven nine three. That's three eight one two seven nine three. Now, we're going to be having awards this year, for also for the following categories for best documentary best music video best screenplay best animation of course best cinematography best technical achievement best actor and actress most original best video for 15 and under 15 years and under and the award for best overall video That's, this is going to be um, a really exciting event of course, the Academy Awards is coming up this week, on Sunday. This is like an Academy Awards, but for teens. And it's, a, and it's a wonderful event. I invite everybody to come participate, come to the awards. It's a free event. Um, it's going to be, uh, we're going to have, um, hopefully, um, limo rides for 
the participants, and um, we're going to have food for the event. And if you have any questions or any other information, you can go to the website of the event, which is at www.caneoteenvideofestival.org. Thank you very much. Thank you. We will now talk about the therapeutic dance with Commissioner DeMint. Okay, so the therapeutic dance is coming up in about three weeks. Um, our main thing right now is donations, donations, donations. Um, thank you to everyone who has donated, and we are still accepting whatever you'll give us. <laughs> um, so we're going to go through and to each of the uh, commissioners who have gotten donations so far and just um, individually thank everyone. So, commissioners, um, can Commissioner Stein? Um, I'd like to thank Western Bagel for donating about three dozen bagels. And yeah, so thank you. <laughs> Commissioner Sadwick? I would like to thank Stan's Donuts for their past donations and look forward to their continued this year. <laughs> Commissioner Hatlin? I'd like to thank Three Amigos in advance, even though you have not yet donated those burritos. I know you will. If you're watching, we love you. Commissioner I'd like to thank Trader Joe's for their generous donation of $30 in gift card. Thank you. Commissioner Colhead. Uh, I'd like to thank Albertsons, even though they weren't able to donate this time. Uh, they really made an effort to try to, so thank you. I'd also like to thank uh, Buca de Beppo for making a generous donation to the uh, dance also. Thank you. All right, and we will be continuing to get donations. Oh, one more. Commissioner Martinez. Thank you. I would also like to thank the Kiwanis for actually barbecuing all the chicken, providing all the food, and having the manpower there. And of course, that's the big hit of the evening. One of the big hits is having the food, delicious food there. So thank you, Kiwanis. And again, we really appreciate all these donations that we've been receiving, and um, we will be continuing to look for more. Um, so we're just keeping on working. It's coming up soon. <laughs> Thank you. And a reminder, the actual event is on March 27th at the fabulous Thousand Oaks Teen Center. We'll now be moving on to Commissioner Comments with Commissioner Ramirez Davis. Uh, this is the last portion of our meeting where commissioners can provide any information, comment, or announcements which no action by the commission will be taken. Uh, at this time, are there any commissioner comments? Commissioner Rose? I would just like to say good luck to all the choir members at Westlake for their upcoming show this weekend. Commissioner Hatlin? I'd like to wish a happy 18th birthday to my best friend Brandon Jansen. We'll be going to Moronga next month. It's going to be a blast. Commissioner Slavonides. Um, I would like to thank uh, Brianna Bergadello. She is one of our um, Associated Student Government uh, kids who gives a report on Lorena, and I would like to congratulate her on her foundation for raising a lot of money to build schools in Puerto Rico. So congratulations to you. Uh, Chair Sadwick. I would like to uh, congratulate staff coordinator Francine Spriegel on the planned wedding of her daughter and wish them the best of luck in winning money in that contest. I will be voting. Commissioner Martinez. I'd also like to thank Raj from Stuff Pizza for providing all the pizza for the Rocky Oaks. Commissioner Sote. Do you like money? <laughs> Sorry, do you like free money? Do you have talent in dance, vocal, or instrumental arts? Well then, you have a chance to win at least $1,500 cash for this talent by simply submitting a DVD demonstrating this talent by April 2nd. Judges will choose three people from middle school, three people from high school, and three people from college. These nine people will then compete in the Share Forum Theater May 16th at 4 p.m. for a first prize of $5,000, second prize for $2,500, third prize for $1,500. Interested? 
please visit www.allianceforthearts.org. Thank you. <laughs> Commissioner Colhub. Uh, I'd like to wish the best to Mia, who had her uh, bone marrow um, drive recently at my church. I was hopefully uh, somebody's bone marrow will match hers, and she will be able to uh, fight her um, cancer. So, uh, God bless you, Commissioner Hong. I would like to wish um, Taylor Nelson good luck in Australia. For rep she's going to be representing the United States as a surfer at this huge contest. So, good luck. Commissioner Stein. Uh, um, I'd just like to give a shout out to Andreas Nickman. He's my friend and he's in cancer for about a year and a half now. And he just had his last chemotherapy. So, yeah, that close to being cancer free. So. Yeah. And I just want to say uh, thanks to Commissioner McMinn who couldn't be here tonight because he's working on our fabulous Lancer newspaper. <laughs> Uh, there being no more, we can move on with the meeting. Thank you very much, all commissioners and Commissioner Ramirez Davis. Just a reminder, thank you to all of our therapeutic dance donors in the community. We always encourage any other uh, future donors. We greatly appreciate that. So please contact us at 805-449-2743 if you're interested in learning how you can donate. And thank you again to all of our Youth Summit participants and leaders and our keynote speaker. We appreciate all of your coming out. And there being no further business to come before the Youth Commission, the March 3rd meeting is adjourned at 6.55 p.m. until our March 17th meeting. Thank you.